So Pete Halverson here back at Wetzlar, Germany, uh, in Leica headquarters, and I'm joined uh, by two fantastic Leica photographers, uh, Steve, Stefan Vanasco uh, and Nick Law, uh, Nicholas Law, and uh, both these guys have, have a great breadth of work and uh, have been part of the Leica family for some time now. Uh, so they, they're here as, uh, to enjoy with the celebration of photography, which was also, uh, as, as we just found out, there's a surprise uh, of the new M10 that's out here, which Stefan is holding in his hand. So first off, I just want to talk to Stefan about uh, uh, what it was about Leica that originally uh, uh, pulled you into this, this, this amazing family. I think initially it was just the uh, picking up an M6, used M6 first, and then catching that bug uh, of manually focusing, manually being part of the image making process. You know, you see that in the M240 and now in the new M10, uh, that in a digital age where people re rely so much on software, so much on autofocus to make their photos great, that being able to manually focus, manually adjust everything to your own ability and your own, you know, precise of what you want to make, that's the, that's the purity of photography and the beauty of it, just kept me, pulling me in more and more. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, Nicholas, what, what about you? What was it about Leica that, that originally pulled you into uh, to, to this family, the red dot? Red dot. Um, it felt like it's the purest form of photography. Playing with all the other cameras, um, with Leica, you really have to focus on getting the image. and You have to rely, like you said, on, on the software, on other cameras. You have to focus and get everything done on your own. And being able to miss shots make you focus even more. And I, that, that was really fun to do. And you have the MD, uh, and, and, and you, were, you were involved in the launch of the MD. So you, you, you watch this happen with, it, with the, uh, the M10. Did you have a little bit of remnants of, 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 of you going through that as well, like the photographers were doing with their, with their yeah, secret yeah. shoot? It was, uh, I don't know, it's it pretty exciting just to see new cameras. And um, seeing that camera as in the simplest form, and it's going simpler and simpler every time, makes you enjoy photography to the max. So first impressions of this camera, what, what, what do you think? I definitely could notice the, uh, the size of it. A lot, a lot better in the hand, uh, a lot thinner. Um, Back display being a little bit bigger, less buttons is always great. Uh, the eyepiece is great, but I think my the one thing I really love is the external ISO dial now. Yeah. Like just one less thing to touch the back menu screen for to look at, just adjust and go, and just adds to the element of everything else being up there to manually um, adjust as you keep going. Yeah. Well, earlier, one of the things we talked about with Matt Stewart was that on the street shooting side, and especially being able to, depending on the, the shifting light, you know, rate right the hip, switch it without having to go back and, and look at a dial. So is that something that you, you're going to see using in your work, maybe, if you use an M10 in the future? A hundred percent. I think any type of work. Uh, I think just to not have to look at the screen to make an adjustment to such a crucial part of your photography is key. And I love that it's a play off of the old MP film camera. So, I mean, it's continuing this tradition and heritage that Leica has, even just the whole design element on its own and carrying it over into this contemporary digital age. Awesome. Uh, so, first impressions when, when you held it or, or took it, shot a couple oh, friends. Man, Is this the first time right now? Did this just happen? No, I played okay. this with this earlier. But um, I have to say, I agree with everything he said. I love the idea of the ISO button on top. Um, so, you don't have to even look down. You won't miss a shot doing this. I love the idea of less buttons. So, less is more, I feel like. And this the whole feel of it. It's less, heavier, and it uh, feels really good in the hands. Awesome. Uh, well, uh, do you have any projects coming up that you, you want to let people know about or, or where they can find your work? Uh, you can always find my work through my clothing brand, visualapparel.com. As far as uh, unique works, I have a collection of uh, furniture with my imagery uh, with Modernica, handmade furniture in L.A. That will be releasing in March. And other than that, always uh, looking to collaborate with other photographers for my clothing brand and, and build on different projects. Awesome, awesome. And uh, what about you, Nick? I, I think you have a couple of cool things going on, too. Yeah, I have a few projects with my friends. Uh, one is called Picture of Change, which is our nonprofit that we're working with. And uh, the other one is an ongoing documentary with Picture Change as well. And you can find my work at nicklaw.com. Awesome. Well, th th there are two awesome like photographers right here talking about the M10, talking about celebration photography and upcoming projects. So uh, keep an eye out for those. And thanks again for joining us.